All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm gonna start to take this cover off here. It's uh, it's got a bunch of torques on it. You get them all broke loose. I'll give you this end. Maybe you can get your finger in there a little bit or on some of those ribs there. And we'll try to lift it. See these grommets on top? Mm -hmm. They got a grip on it. Okay, now lift it straight up. Okay, um, I want to check the voltage on this and I'm having trouble. So this is like take 17. And I think after re watching Jack's video, uh, I think I know what the issue is. And you got to remember, I mean, I have never messed with something like this and I may say this more than once in the videos because it's several videos I've got on this now um, so I've never messed with anything like this <clears throat> now my safety switch plug is gone it's not in with the pack you remove it to work on it or service it is what you do so down here you can see these two wires, these two cables, go to the safety plug. It breaks it in the middle of the pack. Here. So right here is the middle, and this is where it would be broken. So every time I try to check, across this line of cells my meter goes berserk now I get 127 from here to here 127.7 and from here and you can see this is connected to here all the way over to here I get 127.7 so the top row and the bottom row are identical 127.7 it would seem that it has a full charge but I've been unable to check the middle so what I'm thinking I might do is check it from here to here and check half of the pack and uh, see what I get or I could disconnect all this right here so I'm scared. Yeah, I'll admit it. It's a little scary for me. I don't normally, this is the first time I've ever messed with anything like this, and uh, I'm, I'm fucking petrified. Oh, nice. That holds them out of the way. Sweet. All right. Those you can't bend down that far. All right. Now, <clears throat> I can do one of two things or both things because I'm going to take this apart. I can check it from here to here, I think maybe, and that should give me half the pack voltage. And if I check it from here to here, that should give me half. So, let me try that first. Turn my battery off here, or my light. There we go. All right. So let me 
try from here to here. 191.5. And if I go from here to here, 191.5. All right, let's get the calculator out. That, that sounds good to me. So 191.5 times 2 is 383 and if we divide that by 3 we get 127.6 so this pack seems appears to be fully charged and let's see times 3 383 we got 48 cells divide that by 48 is 7.97 volts per module. Uh, divide that by two. Our individual cells are 3.98. That's that's beautiful. Um, we would charge to 4.1 on this, and they would probably settle at right around. Uh, just under four volts or right at four volts. That's perfect. Um, it, it tells me that all of our modules are okay for one thing, I believe, and that because uh, everything is so even. So the next thing we need to do is just start taking the thing apart. Uh, again, a scary proposition for me. Uh, let me get the camera here. Uh, all right. All this stuff in here, underneath plastic situations, here is. Of course our connectors are there but uh, you can see all these little wires right here coming out this spaghetti wiring uh, there's a pretty good view of it and all that leads over here to here this is the BMS okay uh, I'm not a fan of a BMS and uh, all the things that I have watched about lithium batteries it's not needed and we're not going to have one um, so the BMS the Peltier system the cooling system all that crap is going to come out and you see these dowels right here this is a dowel and it goes plumb through all the way each one of these cans has a hole in the corner all four corners Here's another one. And the cells are being held like that. I'm really digging on that. Um, and you can see, before we even take it apart, this frame, see how it's kind of stacked on top of each other. I'm thinking this frame just kind of stacks on top. Each row has its own little frame. And uh, that might be very useful in uh, holding these cells. Um, yeah, so we may be able to use some of these parts.